Please, please follow me. Moment of truth. It's sticky! <laughs> that leads me to what I'm trying to do right now. Creating the refills for these candles. It did not work. It is still stuck. It will fit. See? See how we already making progress? This came out fine, right? So I'm like, what material is this? Going into this Monday, and Melissa was telling me that we got a message on Etsy. I never even know what you could do that. We are interested in purchasing your store and would like to discuss this further. Our offer ranges from $500 to $3,000. So I was editing the vlog today when we got emailed from United Airlines to be in their magazine. I found someone else that I had emailed. But he said, hit him back up in a month. So I hit him up today, like, hey, what's going on? Just curious how it went. That man said, we didn't see not a hit. We didn't see nothing. And we went a 20% discount. We didn't see anything, which means not a sale is something. Not a hit is even crazy. That means that nobody even looked you up and you probably spent $4,000. Life is literally about dodging stuff like that. That is all life is. Just dodge all the things that look like like that. Like this reminds me of artists and flea. They plotting on the small companies to just throw money at them. We use Triple Wheel and someone bought a candle recently. On Triple Wheel, it has a post purchase survey. So we have two responses in the last week. So someone said, I'm a small business also overcoming financial hurdles. And y'all have been on my heart. I decided in 2024, I would pay my tithe by sewing into other small businesses that need the love like me. Blessings. Thank you. So I'm going to the city. I'm gonna get a little bit of work done. I have packages to drop off. I have to get cat food. I have to go to Target. Therapy are often that a deal with people in their lives who won't go to therapy. I have a job. It's actually quite fulfilling. Though my hairline is thinning, I barely do anything else. I read several books. I do meditation, walks in the woods, a new destination. I sit with my feelings. Sometimes hey, I'm back home. So, this is what I bought when I was out. I just got some cups. I got skewers because I was gonna try and release the other prototype that I had. It did not work. It is still stuck. It worked in a sense of allowing separation so it's not stuck to the glass anymore, but it's still not enough for it to actually loosen and, and come out. So I'm just trashing this. So I'm gonna go in the garbage. So that was prototype number one. Right now we're working on prototype number two. So I already did the first part, which is creating the refill mold. So the issue with this is that I cannot get this out and I also cannot comfortably pull out the mold from from the inside, especially with this not being out, right? Because um, what you can also do, you can cut this. It was like a softer plastic and it's more malleable. I could kind of, you know, move it away or whatever, but this is a very hard plastic. So I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to use a different material. Now, I came with this idea. I think it'll work. I bought six of these acrylic, um, rectangles from Amazon. I decided I was gonna make a box using it, right? So I'm gonna like put them all together and I'm gonna wrap it around with plastic wrap so that way the liquid doesn't seep out. Once I have the sides and everything with the plastic, I'm gonna hot glue the bottom of it to another piece and that'll be what I'm gonna pour it in. I know that sounds crazy, but I already did it. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so boom. You see the tape? It's holding it together in this square form. And then I've used another piece of tape down here. This is hot glue down here and not supposed to stop anything from leaking out once I pour the silicone in here. I think the glue is cold, so I'm gonna try and lift it up. I'm gonna flip it over so we, I can check and see that like it's sealed. And if it's not, I'll add some more hot glue. All right, so for the most part, this is looking really good. Like I don't think anything is gonna be leaking out of here. If anything, I may add a little more glue to this like 
little section right here because I feel like it's a little short. But aside from that, it looks, this looks pretty much this is exactly what I'm going for. All right, so the next step is to use the silicone. So this is what I'm using, it's non-toxic, it's odor-free, there's supposed to be no bubbles, and it's a one-to-one -one weight. I messed up last time. I did not do it by weight, I did it by volume. So this time, I'm actually gonna weigh it out. I bought some cups. We are about to remove this. I'm gonna see if I actually made this correctly. So this is like almost one full bottle of the silicone, but I need it to be like here. So I bought more, it just didn't, it's gonna come in today. Even though it didn't fill up how I wanted it to, I still wanna test and see if I actually made the silicone right. If I didn't make it right, it's gonna be a, uh, <gasps> Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. See, I don't think I should have did that. See, now my watch is asking me if I'm okay. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, cause I'm like, maybe it needs more time to set, but it should set within three to six hours. Yeah, see how's what? I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna let it stay longer because the other one was like that too when I first took it out, but it eventually hardened to the point where I couldn't take it out anymore. As of right now, I am a little, just a little, di little bit worried or disappointed, but we'll see what happens once it, once I give it more time. I prepare myself to start selling candles on the street. So it's definitely something that I have not done before. At this point, it's something that needs to be done, so I'm gonna have to do it. We don't have money coming in that much from the website. We need to have money coming in. No other option for me to take. Like we have to, I have to, I have to sell the candles online. The only other option is borrowing money, which we have told y'all we are opposed to this year. No more borrowing money. This year is focused on making money, not borrowing it as much. So I'm heading to the storage unit to go get the candles from Melissa to make. Well, I'll probably go get the table today because I might not go out tomorrow. It'll probably be going out maybe Thursday and maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever. And it's raining today. I'm not selling outside today, thank God, but I was not thinking it could be raining. At least it's not cold. I can sell outside if it's not cold. Freezing cold, I can't do. Some drizzles, I can find like a nice tan or something and we could do that. But freezing, cannot do. But it looks so crazy in here. So I got the box already and now here's the blender and the only other thing i need are the vessels from melissa to repaint so one step closer to selling candles on the street i don't know if i'll make any money from it i hope i mean we have to but i don't know how easy it'll be like will i have to go to different locations to make it work will i get in trouble selling it will it just go amazing we might even get recognized from people who know us which happened with melissa i don't know what's gonna happen but keep my fingers crossed because it's the end of the month we need to make a lot of money but I think if we're making like $200 for each day, that would be good. Honestly, I don't even want to be outside that long. I'm thinking like four or five hours and then just come back home. There are so many places to try to check it, see what works. Like I said, fingers crossed. But this week, I would like to make $500 in a day. So they came in. The new vessels are here. The little treats. How many ounces is this? This one? This one? Yeah. Am I allowed to pick this up myself? Yeah. Okay. 280 grams is still this Okay. We were thinking about making one this size. I'm like... like a nice travel size? Yeah, because right now we have a 10 and I don't like the 10s. That's like good this. for people who, like for a hotel. Like if they're going to stay somewhere. Like some people, because they go to our hotels here. Going to go pick them up and we're going to see how they look. Get some photos, get them in the holes. Get them on the website this week. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. We don't know. No labels for them. Okay, so we have finally got the new vessels. We gotta see what these bad boys, what they look like. Ooh, we got refill being made, we got candles being tested, we got candles being made. A baby candle. A little baby. Look at this, this is nice. This is so nice. All right, so I'm about to measure what size label you'll need for this. I was thinking maybe an inch and a half. I thought an inch at first, but I think that's too small. What do you guys think? Inch and a half, inch. We're gonna see. Maybe even two inches, honestly. Oh, look at that square. I feel like SpongeBob right now. Look at that amazing square. All I want is all of you, baby, baby. I 
right, so more silicone came in, but I realized that I don't think it's the same silicone. It's a bigger bottle, so hopefully I might be able to do it without having to use two bottles. So I'm gonna try and take this out again, because I feel like it might have set. Yeah, it's like, it's interesting. The bottom is still like wet. Oh, so the issue with this could be because, no, because this is all wet too. Cause I was thinking that maybe it's cause there's not enough at the bottom. This is how it looks on the inside. So very close. But like I said, there needs to be enough on the bottom for it to set. So the sides, the perimeter isn't, it looks shiny, but it's not really that wet. However, the bottom is very wet and this is where there wasn't enough silicone. I'm wondering if I take this out, clean it out and everything, redo it with the new silicone, how it'll come out. But I also don't know if I have enough silicone. So one of the other issues that I had yesterday was that the cup that I bought to mix it in wasn't big enough. So I got a bowl off of Amazon, but it's cracked on the back and it's leaking. I just washed it. I'm about to get my hot glue gun and I'm about to hot glue it to seal that crack and it should be fine from there all right so i used hot glue to seal the crack and it's I, tr I already tested it out by adding water in there no water leaked out it is completely sealed step two is gonna be me removing the silicone <laughs> It can't set, it's not thick enough, so that's why there's a hole here. But I already know how to fix this, so I'm excited. And aside from that, I think this came out perfectly. I was able to remove it from the, from the sides, which is something I couldn't even do with the last prototype, so I deem this a success. the last hour or so trying to iterate and figure out how I'm gonna do this. I'm a genius, I've always been a genius, and I think I might have figured it out. So I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm trying to do. We are creating the refills for these candles. DIY, no outside laboratories or whatever. First things first, I need, this is not, this exterior is not the same as this, right? What does that mean? That means, if I were to just put this glass into the silicone mix and just take the exterior, I'm gonna get another glass, right? I cannot put this glass inside this glass. It does not work. It cannot fit. So this would not be a refill because it would not go inside. That leads me to what I'm trying to do right now. The way that it's supposed to work, I need to put a hard substance on the inside of this so that I can then take that hard substance and put it into the silicone. And then once I pour the wax into that silicone, it's gonna come out as the hard substance. So then I can just take that hard substance and put it back in here. Example, this is the clay mold that I made of the interior of this glass. So it will fit. You see, see how we already made the progress? This is gonna fit inside. I need this, right? To then put this inside the silicone. You feel me? Cause this is what I'm gonna take out. This sticky substance on the outside, you see, you can see that it's still wet. I think the issue that I'm having is that the clay somehow has either some type of contaminant or they call it poisonous, but it's not poisonous to us, it's poisonous to the silicone. I may have overcomplicated this shit for myself. I'm using this to house the silicone. This came out fine, right? So I'm like, what material is this? <laughs> it's acrylic. I'm like, okay, is there acrylic resin? Can I use acrylic to do this? Cause what I'm thinking is I'm gonna pour the acrylic in here, put some popsicle sticks and when I'm ready, pull it out like a popsicle. And then I could put that into the silicone. That's what I'm thinking. Now I have to go to Amazon, see if this is something that exists. I did find someone that's selling acrylic resin. I'm just so stressed out. So then, my brain speaks to me. The brain was like, can you use wax? Can I use candle wax to make the silicone mold? Apparently I can. Right now you have these, you remember these? We had a hundred plus orders for the holiday gift order we did last year. Four of these came back, returned to sender and efficient address. Ooh. 
same font? Yeah. Alright, it looks very on brand. It looks fun, but also luxurious. I'm not sold. Melissa, I'm lighting the little treat. So now we got the how Wait, 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 wait. our test of our new little treat candle. Right now, the burn time is two or three grams per hour. Look at that, see how nice that looks? So this is about a 35 hour burn time candle uh, at that size, which is amazing. They're gonna be like, what? Right. They're gonna be like 35 hours in this? I wonder how much the, the vessel plays into that too. But do you think certain vessels that, that contain heat more, or contain heat less, would make it burn faster? So. Yeah, so my goal for today is to get those on the website and also see look at being nasty. See? See? You think I don't know what you're doing. I've been using my phone for the last couple minutes on this photography and I think I got I got some good pictures on here. Having it on my phone, I don't gotta stand up and I could change the settings. This is amazing, I love this. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what color that's, that's the black one? That, I'm like, I didn't even know we had that color. I'm like, what color that? That looked like a purple or something. I pretty much have the same photo, but I used a different preset each time. I like the mood that it's in. The zesty one on the website right now has a slider. So we could put the slider on this, have the dark one, have the light one, and say go from day to night in an instant with your favorite set. Hey everyone, I'm heading to the city. I have to get paint and I wanna go to Blick to see if someone can help me. Like if someone that knows about crafting and molding is something they can help me come up with a solution. I've been battling with is this weird feeling of I should be doing something, but I don't know what to do, but I have mad things to do. You know that feeling? Yeah, I felt that before. He's he's following me. Rock. <clears throat> Here, he's just purring. Moment of truth. I'm gonna try and lift this piece up. Wait a minute. Okay, pretty much, this is a piece of clay. This clay never gets hard, it stays soft, right? What I did was pretty much pour silicone around the clay. I think it worked. So the issue is the thin layers are sticky. The sides here, they're perfectly fine. Like they're not sticky. We did it! So yes, we're gonna move forward. Apparently this is the clay to use. Essentially, once this is done, it should be done. Like essentially, I already know how to make the mold. I already know how to do, like you feel me? So this should be, this should be done. for little treat candle. So I'm gonna show you guys some of those pictures. They're very temporary until we get the actual labels in. These are very quick Photoshop. Just put the label on there. Updated the quiz a little bit too. As you guys can see, I am wrapped up in my cocoon. I have been hard at work. Today has been an amazing day for me. I feel great, phenomenal. Uh, my goal has been for this week to try and get everything we have done in a week. And I'm thinking I'm doing pretty well. It's so interesting when you don't use your phone, how much time you have to do work. I'm scrolling on here, right? Look at this. Enhance your SES. Enhance your SES. My assumption is that the ones that say that, people actually went to our page from those videos.
So I was correct. Silicone came in. I am getting ready to pretty much fill this up the rest of the way. And we're gonna see how it comes out. So this is what we're looking like. Yeah, I'm excited. This is pretty much what I've been going for. So let's see. Consistent. 